Okay, it's the Slay the Spire yearly challenge. Uh, in other words, it's just the daily for the first day of the year, uh, 2021. I Have I ever recorded myself playing Slay the Spire? I don't know. It might be super boring. Uh, okay, with the Silent, we have um, one of every rare card. Start with Frozen Eye, which means you can see the order the cards are going to be drawn in, and 10 random cards at the bottom of your draw pile. This one is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'll have a good deck, but I kind of can't control the deck. But the only deck control I'm going to have is really what I remove, which means shots are going to be super important because that's the main reliable way of removing cards from your deck. Um, right up that top, I really like that sequence of campfire, elite, shop, campfire. Um, so I'll try and head towards that. There's a lot of elites around. I think it's good to go for elites because Act 1 elites are balanced for a starting deck, and I have a deck full of the rarest cards in the game. Uh, so I'm looking at the central channel favorably. Uh, Upgrades are going to be important because, well, somewhat important because um, I've got really good cards. So yeah, as long as I go to the central channel, it doesn't really matter. And I think I'll, I want to stop by a shop because I'll have, I will have enough to do it. Okay. Uh, I love after image. To be honest, if this fight was going to go longer, I'd probably spend nightmare to triplicate after image. Uh, but I don't think that makes sense with a, a cultist. So I might do after image, and then I might just do. I'd love to do in Venom and Storm Steel. Um, I can't do that. Oh, wait, actually, getting a potion is a good idea. Let's do that, and then I will turn everything else to shivs. Seems like a pretty strong start. Oh, adrenaline's so good. Oh, I can burst adrenaline. Oh, that's so good. And then I've also got bullet time. I think I'll be able to do that. Um, Adrenaline's going to get me one energy. Burst will cost one. Um, and then I'll gain two from Adrenaline. So I'll be on four. I was trying to figure out if I could play a thousand cuts, but I can't. Um, if I want to do that. So I'll definitely do this. We'll just see what we draw. I do have enough for bullet time, though, which is um, uh, great. So I'll do it. Is there any reason to play something else before bullet time? No, not really. So that's 1,000 cuts. Glass knife. Um, Grand finale won't work. Uh, yep, might as well play that. And then die, die, die. Oh, I've even got energy left to do this. Oh, he's so nearly dead. If I could play Grand finale even if it didn't do anything, that would kill him. <laughs> uh, sneaky strike. We'll end this immediately. Oh yeah, the game's been rebalanced lately. Um, sneaky strike is better now. Although it's still not really worth it, I don't think. Yeah, so when I'm choosing what cards to take, um, I'm only affecting my first run through the deck. Because after that, I will never draw these cards again. Everything only gets played once. Um, uh, what? Okay. Uh, Dagger Spray is pretty good. I'm just wondering what... Um, I already have two cards that hit everyone. So actually... Oh no, so Unload doesn't hit everyone. I always think it does, but it doesn't. Uh, so it's only die, die, die that I've got. Um, I don't like any of these enough to take them. So it's all about removing. Well, I mean, actually. Ooh, retain is real good. Retain is real good. Actually, powers are really, really good for this deck because, like I say, the, the bummer is that you're not going to draw these cards again. But um, oh, with the power, you only need it once. It's also, I seem to recall uh, that um, you're light on block with a rare deck. Um, but, okay, if I was going to remove, what would I remove? Um, I feel like Nightmare... Oh, no, Grand Finale is the worst, because uh, you basically can't play it. But, I tell you what, removing is actually less important. I was thinking it was more important, but it's not, because these things only come up once anyway. So, I think I buy backflip instead of removing. I was wrong about remove being important. Alright, this is fun. Um, I will burst adrenaline. I think I can do 1000 cuts first this time. I may even have been wrong about whether I could have done it the other time. This only leaves me with 2 attack. I've got no block. Um, can I 
I give him weak and sap two of his strength, that'll probably get him down to like five damage. But that's still not great. Uh, I could play after image and then malaise. That gets me one more block, but it also puts that power in play, which is good. Um, unload. Doing 14 damage would be nice, but it's not. I want to just uh, protect myself as best I can. I think this is best. So he's going to do 5 and I block 1 of it. Take 4 damage. Uh, actually, no, I can play this as well, right? Um, yes. It will, won't it help me, but it gets me an extra block, point of block, which is nice. And I can't play that. Grand Finale is truly dead weight. Ooh, this is nice. So I'll bullet time and then I'll do everything, I think. Yeah. And in fact, I might do... Let me see... Okay, so... Uh, let's alchemize, because that's a good one. Ah, well now, that's made the choice for me. <laughs> I was going to try and decide whether to poison the corpse explosion. If I'd done it to the weaker enemy, he would have died, and he would have dealt his max health damage to this guy. Um, is that true? Is that how corpse explosion works? Yes. Um, but it doesn't super matter. And this will just do some damage for playing it. I love Thousand Cuts, and I love After Image. I love stuff where I just, I'm getting free benefits just from playing cards, even if they're not doing anything. Oh, escape plan's nice. Especially because, I, like I say, I've got stuff that benefits me just for playing cards at all. Uh, man, bullet time is so good. I want to play this first, though. Um, and I can't play Thousand Cuts before bullet time. Okay, that didn't help. I'm going to be able to Nightmare something. That is cool. That is very cool. I would, if I could, I would Nightmare something defensive, but I don't have any defensive cards. So I think I'm going to Nightmare Thousand Cuts. I would love it if it ended up, if all the copies that it adds to my ha hand next turn were also zero cost. <laughs> that would be incredible. I don't think that's how it works. I get to Alchemize again. I'm going to do this because I just want to know. Oh, I thought it would give me a choice of like what to replace, but I guess it doesn't. Well, no defense, but... <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Wait, I literally can't ever play Grand Finale. Because my draw pile... Um... Oh, right, I draw an extra one and discard an extra one. Uh, okay. Now, maybe I'll play Wraith Form just to survive this damage, because <laughs> it's actually quite bad. Uh, this can almost kill one of them, but it can't quite, which is no use. Uh, so I'm not going to end up playing my Thousand Cuts, which is a shame. I, if I had had a bullet time or something, that would have been nice, but I guess I used up my bullet time. I can play this, but then if I do that, I'm forfeiting my ability to um, to play Wraith Form. And if Adrenaline was up next, then I would do it. But this is I have Frozen Eye, so this is in order. So I would get Corpse Explosion in, in Venom, I believe. Um, and neither of those is going to save me, so Wraith Form it is. I wish that gave me a little bit of block, but it doesn't. Oh, I can retain one of these, that's good. I might retain Burst, actually, because I think I'm going to get Adrenaline next time. Upgrading Burst is my top priority for when I hit a campfire. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, Corpse Explosion is very good, actually. Uh, die, die, die actually kills them all right now, so <laughs> let's say that's the best. Uh, yeah. No reason to do anything else. So, I actually think Explosive is probably better than, than Attack anyway. Uh, I will take another backflip because I'm short of those. Okay, so question mark, then Campfire, then Elite. Oh, I want to take the left route. Oh, I definitely want to take the left route, don't I? No, they both involve a Campfire, but this one involves more Elites. So let's do this, because Relics are going to be good for us. Uh, Alright, Bullet Time. I think we burst Adrenaline first, because Bullet Time will prevent us from drawing cards. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> and I can even play Blackfield first as well, because I've got four energy now. Yep, that's pretty goddamn great. Uh, let me play that. Let me play that. Let me play that. And this. The only thing I've got to be careful of is playing something that discards cards, uh, which I don't want to do. Is this going to kill him? <laughs> it actually, I'm still going to take damage. Oh, no, I'm not. He's going to die. <laughs> but yeah, all of that 
playing all those incredibly valuable cards, still didn't get enough block to actually fend him off. So block is a real problem with this. Now Crippling Cloud, that's a sort of highly rated card. People, it's, I think the higher level players rate it. I kind of don't, because it's so expensive. Things that cost two to play are so, um, so rare to be able to justify that. But I do have bullet time, so that's a good argument for it. Maybe I do want it. Terror is really good too. Because um, cards that exhaust are actually good for me, because like I say, they're never going to come up again anyway. So this also exhausts, of course. Terror. Am I actually going to be doing a lot of direct damage? Because that's what vulnerable affects. I don't think it helps with thousand cuts damage, um, but I am actually I do have a fair amount of direct damage. It really freaks me out that when I go after that mode, it takes me to the map. I think I'm pressing the wrong button. I think I'll do crippling cowed. Well, what is better for a boss? Terror is better for a boss. I should do terror for that reason. I don't think I want snack of oil. Well, maybe I'll get actually just to diversify. Okay, finally some elites. Oh, I could potentially burst a... Um... Shall I backflip first, just in case I get burst? Oh no, wait, I can see where I'll get burst. I won't get burst. Uh, but between them, I will. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, if I, obviously, if I backflip and adrenaline, I'll get burst, but then it'll be too late to use burst on either of them. Uh, so I don't think it really matters which I do first. Um, so I'll do one backflip, and then I could burst a backflip, or I could... Um, I wonder if bursting doppelganger would make sense. So one backflip gets me all the defense I need. I think I'll do that. What will I... I could potentially burst, like, escape plan. Weird as that sounds. Um... Wait, I won't get escape plan, I'll get these two. Corpse Explosion is great here, except that they already have artifacts, and I can't, I don't think I can remove that this turn, except with this, but I don't have enough energy to do all of that. Uh, so I should play a power, maybe I should play, maybe it will burst Doppelganger. Can I, I think I, w I don't want to lose health, so I'll do this. And then I could, I almost kind of want to just burn one of their artifacts. Um, I might also hit them with this, because that is... My potion slots are full, so I'm always much more ready to use one. Oh, why don't I do Storm of Steel? That's way better. Let's do Storm of Steel. Um, anything I want to play before that? Because I can afford to. Yeah, if it's only going to cost me effectively one shiv, then I should try to wipe out one of their artifacts, I think. And I can't do that first. Oh, I should have. I could have burst that maybe. No, I wouldn't have had enough energy to do this. So there is some logic as to which you want to attack first. You always want to attack an edge one first because um, you the round that's nasty is when the edge ones both attack at the same time. So if you can get rid of one of those, then you're back to a, you're only ever going to be faced with nine damage per turn. This is going to work, isn't it? So actually, if I didn't, if I'd realised that was going to work, I probably would have attacked the one that that still had artifact on him. Because now, as it stands, that was kind of a waste. Oh, do they they put one in your draw and one in your discard, or is it just discard? It doesn't actually describe their ability. If it goes in your discard pile, then this will never come up, which is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can Nightmare next turn. That's cool. Let me do that. Uh, I think I'll Nightmare Die, Die, Die. Yeah. And I'll do this, and then I'll do that. And I'm going to take a bunch of damage, because I actually don't know if I could have avoided that. I wasn't really focusing on it, which I should have. But uh, this will work. Oh, I should have done Alchemize first. Whoops. Oh, another burst, yes please. What did doesn't prayer wheel 
Um, let me bring up my cursor. Normal enemies drop an additional card. Okay, but elites don't, so I only get one now. All right, I would like, please, to upgrade burst. I think, yeah, upgrade it burst is great. Oh, if I do after image, that's innate then. That's quite cool. I think I'll do burst first. Hmm. Innate after image is real good. I'm going to do burst first. I think that just leads to crazier stuff. Oh, this is a good round to have it. Um, hmm. I don't have adrenaline. Alright, I've already got to think about this because malaise is quite a good one to play right now. But I want. I could burst malaise, can I? But. If I burst malaise, it'll do effectively four. I think that's good. I think I should do that. Yeah. Everything else here is really tempting. But if I play bullet time, everything costs zero, but then malaise will do nothing. Um, well, let me think that through. If I do. If I play bullet time, I can afford. Oh, I could make a shitload of potions. I could get two potions, basically. Um, which might mean that I also. Because I'd get after image in play, which is good. And I could just burn some potions. I would play my attack potion and my colorless potion, and then I'd do alchemize twice. I'm going to do that, it just seems more fun. So I'll do this next, it doesn't actually matter, but um, so now I'm going to do this. Oh, choke is good. Choke is real good for this turn. That's exactly what I want. We'll wake him up, but I don't care. Um, skill for my draw pile into my hand, that sounds potentially really good. Oh, but I, I'm, I can't draw cards, but I think put is different. Uh, so I'll do that first in case it's something that would be good with burst. So adrenaline is the, the poison chalice here because I can't draw cards, and so that wouldn't help me really. Or would it? Because I would get energy for it. Um, if I burst an adrenaline, I get two energy, and then I can burst again and cast malaise. Because Bouncing Flask I can't play because it would um, it costs energy. So Adrenaline's the right choice here. Okay, it's not a Poison Chalice, so take it all back. Um, shall I be wild and if I do this one first, then I do Adrenaline I get some energy. I believe I've got one burst active. If I play burst here, I get two bursts, don't I? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, and so Malaise is what I'm going to play, but I'm, I'll also play Alchemize to get my potions back. Uh, it doesn't matter which order I do this in. Like, my instinct said to do Alchemize first, and I don't know why that was. Man, this is great. And then I'll play this just to do the damage. Look how much damage for turn one. And he's minus four strength and four weak. Uh, I don't think I want to play any of those potions. Although Regen might be good, actually. Because we've got some time, right? It's going to be a while before we chew this guy down. I'm going to play regen. Because I always have Alchemize. And I'm probably going to get to play it a lot because I've got bullet time as well. Alright, this is not so good. I don't have a lot of ways of mitigating damage except Wraith Form, which is a real... I just said this fight was going to go long. <laughs> now Wraith Form is, is gambling, it's not going to go long. Um, but there's nothing else. That's the only thing I do to protect myself. Short of discarding these and drawing draw some backflips. Maybe I want to do that. I'll just discard everything, I think. Because none of this helps me defense-wise. Alright, I'm going to do that. Um, one backflip, but it draws the other backflip, which is great. Um... I do have after image. Is there an argument for doing something else with my energy? Like corpse explosion would be quite nice. I think I do one more backflip and then die, die, die. Oh shit, oh, why did I hit twice then? That could have been bad. Oh, now I could do Storm of Steel. That's going to be nice. 
I think that's better than glass knife. Yep, that's a good amount of damage. <laughs> and I, I got three more, so I kind of want the fight to go three more rounds. Um, that does 12 damage, okay. And I should play it before skills if I'm going to play it. I'm going to play Cloak and Dagger for sure. Um, I've got three energy, so this is 12 poison, that's obviously way better than 12 damage, but that's not the choice I'm making actually. It's going to be... Oh, I'm an idiot. I, should, I just said I should play that first. Um, Alright, so 14 plus 12, sorry, 14 plus 8, 22 damage, or 9 poison. I said 12 earlier, I'm wrong. Uh, let's do this, and this, and this. It's going pretty well. So, I might even want to hold on here. If I... I guess I'll do this, this isn't going to kill him. Uh, always discard that. And then maybe I do... I think I'll do, like... I don't want to kill him this turn, I want to kill him next turn. And I'll do seven. That's good. Okay, so I should be able to kill him next turn. And I think... Am I, I'm wasting one stack of regen if I kill him this turn. Um, so maybe let's see what... What I get. Um, no, nothing. So I'll just kill him. Alright, that's a good outcome. Healed a lot. Oh, that's a great one to get. Elites are weaker. This run is full of elites. I don't think I want another burst, do I? I've got two already. No, I don't think I do. Actually, elite card drops are crap because I don't want the rare cards. I've already got all the rare cards. Um, so I want to go right after at this junction. Um, yeah, and get both elites in the shop. I'll anger the mushrooms. Okay, only six damage incoming, that's nice. Um, but I've got nothing to block it with except Wraith Form, which I think would be excessive for s to block six damage. I'm thinking about thousand cuts, then unload maybe. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Uh, and I might hit one of the harder ones. Okay. Oh, I get the six block for free. I forgot about that. That's awesome. So that's actually... Um, this is Oracalcum, and it's... Uh, it... Am I saying that right? Oracalcum, maybe. Um, only if I end my turn without block. So um, after image may actually be a bad one now. Fucking hell, that's a lot of incoming damage. Okay, so I got after image now, um, but if I'm not going to play six cards after it, it's actually worse than not doing it. Uh, quite tempted to do malaise on one of them, on one of the nines. What if I I can kill one, but it'll make me vulnerable, and so you're shaving off nine damage in order to uh, and taking fifty percent of fifteen, which is I guess eight. Um, oh, corpse explosion, corpse explosion. I can do Corpse Explosion and Glass Knife. That guy has 26 health, that'll kill everyone. Yeah, there we go. So, it took zero damage there. Huh? Okay, now Vulnerable is less effective on me, which is cool. Acrobatics might be good. Because if I... If it gets me Adrenaline, then it's obviously good. Um, if it gets me Bullet Time, it's a bit late because I've spent the energy on it. But if I can ever get four energy, like if the boss relic is an energy relic, that would be great. Um, and yeah, I just often have a lot of useless stuff in my hand. Hmm. Maybe not actually, because I've got backflips and stuff, which are just better. Okay, yeah, going right here. Here's the mini knob. <laughs> He's tiny because he's got less health. Uh, I could burst corpse explosion him right off the bat. That would be kind of fun. I think I'm going to do that. So he's just got 12 poison to be getting on with. Oh, 
obviously the corpse explosion part doesn't actually uh, help me. So he gets angry when I play skills. It's not every non-attack, it's just skills. But I think I'm going to do that anyway. And I'm going to play a thousand cuts as well. So he'll hate that. Um, I will get this. Uh, and I'll attack him and he won't mind that. Yeah, I take five damage there. Maybe could have been avoided, but I think at this point, if I Storm of Steel, I get four shivs. Each one does four damage. That's 16 plus 10 is 26, so that would kill him. Um, how much do I actually need? I need 13. Um, so 12 is not sufficient. Because if 12 is sufficient, I would do Alchemize first. But I don't think it is, so I won't. Oh, with a uh, thousand cuts meant that 12 would have been enough. So I could have done Alchemize. Alright, that was easy. Ooh, that's a great relic. Do I want another Alchemize? No, I don't. Stop offering me rare cards, I don't want them. Okay, now, after image. Actually, no, after image got a lot less appealing, didn't it? Um. Oh, so I didn't go for acrobatics, but what I should have borne, borne in mind is I can upgrade bullet time to cost less, and that's really cool. I might do that. Bullet time is an absolute lifesaver. Um, my laser is a nice upgrade, because then even if you have zero energy, you can do something with it, um, which is great with bullet time. Uh, a thousand cuts is a good upgrade, because it's two damage. doubles its effectiveness. Uh, I think I might do bullet time... That's what my heart says. And yeah, going for every elite we can, because we want to get all these relics, accumulate them. Well, now I really want bullet time, and I don't have it. I want to do corpse explosion, but um, they have artifact on them. Oh, this is actually not a good, not a good deal. I think thousand cuts is the the best thing I can do. Uh, and then Doppelganger for the rest, maybe? Well, Doppelganger would get me one energy and one card next turn. Phantasmal Killer would double the effectiveness of all my attacks next turn, which is arguably a bigger deal. What, am I going to have attacks next turn? I'm going to have bullet time next turn, which is great. I don't see a lot of attacks that will actually... I'll get five cards if I don't play Doppelganger. Then the backflip will get me these two. That backflip could get me <laughs> these two. Then I would have some attack. But that involves spending two energy on, the, on that, and if I do that before casting bullet time, then I won't be able to fall before bullet time. All of which means I think Doppelganger is a better choice, um, but I will do Thousand Cuts first. I could just snack a while, couldn't I? Should I do that? Five cards, randomized cost of cards in your hand. And that only helps me if I get zeros, so no, I won't do that. Oh, I get the free block. I keep forgetting about the free block. Okay, so this is the nasty turn. Um, but I've got bullet time. And I can burst. So I can afford to burst backflip before I bullet time. That's actually a huge deal. I think that's better than doing after image first. Yeah, this is nice. Um, this is the next one to play, I believe. Um, now I'll do after image, I think. No, because if I'm not going to play, well, yeah, I will. I will. Because I need a lot of block this turn, and uh, it's worth doing. Oh, I should have thought about what I wanted a nightmare. Um, I think I'll nightmare die, die, die. And I might as well use this up to try and sap them. And that's a nice turn. Oh, I should have I should have played Malaise just to get the thousand cuts on it. That's a I'm forever realizing what I should have done a moment after I've done it in this game. Speed potion is the worst potion, I think. Ooh, another bullet time. Yes please. They obviously, they don't combo with each other. Um, it's bad to get two bullet times with one hand, but just increasing the likelihood that I get one at all is a real big deal. 
Let's see what we've got here. We're still very low on block. Oh, I really like that. I really like that. I really like that. <laughs> that's, I can't say it enough. Um, yeah, that's better than anything else that could possibly give me. And we can still afford to smith, which is nice. So, not thinking after image. Um, part of me wants to just upgrade the other bullet time. What does backflip go to? Eight block. That's quite nice. Adrenaline's nice too, that gives you more energy. Um, although with bullet time that matters less. Bullet time, burst, thousand cuts or backflip. That's my that's what I'm thinking. Um, I might do thousand cuts. No, I'm gonna do backflip, I think. Lack of block is a uh, is my biggest problem right now. Okay, that's a lovely first turn. I will play after image, I think. I don't think it's um, bad. But I don't need to yet. So maybe I'll do backflip first. See if I get... Um, hoping to get burst. Ooh, in Venom's very good. Okay, well let's do Adrenaline. And then think about... Oh, I, did I lose a draw there? I did. Uh... Maybe I want to do well laid plans and Invenom. I really like Invenom for a boss. Um, so I think I will do it. And then the thing is a lot of this stuff is my I think this is all of my attack cards basically. I've got Storm of Steel. I could just do I just played Invenom, now I'm gonna do Storm of Steel. I'll put so much poison on him because I've also got the Snake Skull, which means I do two poison every time instead of one. I think that's I think that's the move. <laughs> this is so much poison. <laughs> All right, he is going to uh, hit me with that. I um I want to play backflip. I want to burst backflip, but I don't have the. I can't afford that. I'll get that going on. I might see what this attack is as well. Uh, that's just a nice chunk of damage. I'll do that. Because that will also do... I think that also gave him four more poison, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to backflip and then bullet time. Uh, okay. None of this stuff is going to defend me, is it? Bursting for Tazable Killer is kind of cool. Might do that. I could also Nightmare Burst. Is that crazy? No, I don't think it is, because you get them in addition to whatever cards you were going to get. And I guess I'm just going to do that. I don't know what the heck that is, really. Um, and I can't play that. So I'm going to take quite a lot of damage. Ooh, that was really a lot of damage. Oh god, I got another burst. <laughs> I don't even need it. It's not even relevant. Um, so I'll definitely bullet time. I think that's all. That's all it makes sense to do. Um, I might as well burst this. I don't think it <laughs> makes any sense. But oh, they're getting played twice, so they're they're hitting twice. Um, Oro Chalcom will will save me here. I don't want waveform. I'm going to continue saying Oro Chalcom. I don't really have any authority to base this on, but. It feels right to me. Uh, I might do malaise. What did I upgrade last time? I thought I upgraded thousand cuts. I should do that next time. Yeah, I'm gonna do malaise. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, strength strength saps are good on this guy because um, he does lots of multi attacks. Huh? <laughs> the innate is sort of hypothetical there. Damn, that's a nice chunk of damage. Uh, I guess I will do this. Yeah. And then... Because it's just good to play all these cards. Um, I would have been fine without playing that Piercing Whale, but since it does damage to play it, might as well. Alright, this is going alright now. Um, that might kill him. That's 30 damage plus 21. Yeah, that'll kill him. Okay. 
So now I think I do want an energy relic if I can get one. Oh, do I want one of these? No, I don't. Sneko Eye. Hmm, okay, I have bullet time. So Sneko Eye is actually pretty cool. I would be almost guaranteed bullet time, wouldn't I? I might get that. So this is... Coffee Dripper is usually one of my favourites because it's resting. If you're doing well, you don't need to rest. And if you have extra energy, you'll do well. Um, but Sneko Eye is pretty tempting because I have a lot of high cost cards. Uh, and then I have bullet time to negate it as long as I draw enough cards. I think Sneko Eye is the way to go. Makes everything a bit more random, which is uh, not always my favourite, but I think it's elites, isn't it, that I want to focus on. And I think I'm going to go left here. So, Sneko Eye and that. Oh, actually, it tries to draw more than it can, which is wild. Um, let me... I know I don't have room to draw both of these cards, but... Uh, I have to do this before I do bullet time anyway. Uh, and then I guess I'm doing bullet time. And that actually, that leaves me with some energy, so malaise can work. Um, oh, I should have done an escape plan first. Whoops. Um, wait, do I have anything that triggers on playing cards? No, I don't. Should I do malaise or doppelganger is the choice, really? Uh, I think malaise, because I, I need the help. Yeah, that gets him down to four attack. I'm not really Wraith Form. I might get rid of Wraith Form. I don't think it's very good. Uh, yeah, that will do nicely. So he's vulnerable. He's got a bunch of poison. Um, oh, did I play Tools of the Trade? Because that's a good card right now. Um, given that I... Oh, that's weird. Adrenaline is bad now. <laughs> that's kind of a shame. Um, yeah, I got both my bullet times in my starting hand, which is a shame. I think if I... Why don't I Nightmare Thousand Cuts? Then I'm going to play a Thousand Cuts. And I think I'm just going to do this. And Venom's tempting too, but um, this is better, I think. I think we're close enough to killing him that it's worth just racing for it. Okay, wow. Um... So I can... What can I burst? I can burst backflip, which is cool. He'll give me loads of trash in my deck, but that's actually okay. Uh, I will do two of these first. Yeah, that worked out well. And then... Is that going to be burst two as well? Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, awesome. Uh, obviously don't really want those. <laughs> um, 12 damage. Cool. Flawless, in fact. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. I don't think I do want these. What I want now is acrobatics, not expertise. Because expertise, you've got to play all the cards until you until you run out. Oh, Crippling Cloud is good for me now, because it's, uh, its cost is irrelevant. Anything that costs two is good. I think this... Uh, what is the book, does it say? No. End of your turn, you may shuffle one into your draw pile. Okay, yep. I was hoping it would be the one where anything that costs two gets cast twice. Because that would be real good for my build. I think I want to go right here, because I want to... I can get two elites that way. And I still get a shop just a bit later. Yeah, I might pay. Is is it always the same relic, or is it a random relic? It's a random relic. That's a quite a good one too. Okay, the shop is less relevant now, but I think it's still still worth going there. There might be some some deal. Okay, corpse explosion is fantastic here. Yeah, let's do that right away to the strongest one. Should I do 1,000 cuts first? I should do 1,000 cuts first. Yeah, we're going to do 1,000 cuts, uh, Corpse Explosion, uh, Crippling Cloud, and Glass Knife. That might even get, make me do zero damage, which is cool. 
It does. <laughs> uh, and then I want this guy to land, I think, because the sooner I kill him, the better. Blur! Yes, please! Blur is one of my favourite cards in the whole game. Well, this is over. <laughs> he will he will die before any of them get to attack, and in dying he will kill everyone else. So that's nice. Uh, the only thing that I sh need to think about is um, it would be nice to get... It would be nice to get Alchemize, is what I was thinking. I did not get Alchemize, but I did get this. Alright. <laughs> Wasn't even looking at the birds. Uh, honestly, Deflect is kind of tempting. Oh no, I want Acrobatics, don't I? Because this is... Ah, oh, but Acrobatics? Mm, no, I don't. I don't want Acrobatics. Because after I play Bullet Time, um, drawing cards won't work. And before I play Bullet Time, Acrobatics is going to be have a randomised cost, and that might make it unviable. I think I skip it. Alright, I have an idea on... I, I should get dash, because it's cost to be randomized. Um, and I really need block. Some surprisingly easy shop decisions this run. Okay. Um, corpse explosion on one of the little guys might make sense. Uh, terror on the big guy, obviously. Um, do I want to nightmare anything? No, because I can't get it for free. Corpse explosion on the highest initial health. And then I might do Storm of Steel for the rest. Uh, unload. Discard all non-attack cards. That would discard Storm of Steel. Uh, so I, I can't do anything else before Storm of Steel, I don't think. On the other hand... Hmm. No, Storm of Steel is better. Because... So unload will kill both the minions, but actually I'm going to kill a minion anyway, and he will kill the other minion when he dies. Oh, it's a shame I can't really make use of the poison because I want to do it this turn. Actually, no, uh, that's fine. I, I don't need to hit him anymore, do I? He'll die, he'll kill the other one before anything else happens. Wish I had a thousand cuts up right now. Uh, I should get some fucking protection because uh, that's not so good. So, I don't want five block because I'll get six block for free, so this is better, even though it only does one week. Uh, good question. What do I want here? Maybe Malaise again? Okay, only took three damage there. That's pretty good. Um, definitely a free backflip. That sounds good. A free glove. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do this. There's no particular reason I need to do this before the bullet time, but I can, so I will. Doesn't help me, obviously. None of this helps, and I'm not actually achieving anything. I can retain Grand Finale, but it doesn't do me any good. Alright, but this is over now. It should be. Dash ought to do it. Oh, it doesn't quite. Oh, no, it does. 15, because he's vulnerable. Nice! Love to make decisions. <laughs> I actually hate making decisions in real life, and <laughs> that's one, one reason I like uh, Slay the Spire a lot, is it's uh, a bunch of decisions I know how to make. Man, part of me wants another in Venom, because it's... everything that costs two is good for me. I think I want in Venom. Corpse Explosion's great too, but I've already... you only really need one Corpse Explosion, whereas in Venom does stack. I mean, Corpse Explosion stacks too, but... Um, usually, if you, if you manage to pull it off once, you, you're all good. And I think... Oh, so I can make that cheaper. That's a completely pointless upgrade for me, because I have Snake Eye. Uh, I really want 1,000 cuts upgrade. I should just check that... Yeah, there's no other... Like, the Snake Eye hasn't changed any other decisions, I don't think, when it comes to upgrades. Okay, uh, 
I think I will after a ridge. Do I have a bullet time? No. Uh, I can backflip. Got loads of zero cost. This is great. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I, I could burst backflip, but I wouldn't get the... Oh, I should do that because it gets me more defense. Oh, I should burst this, actually. I mean, it, I get to burst two things, so that's cool. Um, actually, even this... No, I think that was better. Bursting Adrenaline would have been a weird case where it, it's worth it, because I it costs me two and I gain two energy. Uh, and then I draw two cards twice, which is four cards, which is great, but actually I don't have room for four cards, and Backflip gets me defense as well, so that's actually better. So I'm fine for defense now, so it's about killing. My pen nib is on nine, so everything's dealing mega damage, which is great. Um, it's the next attack that does mega damage, though, not the whole turn. So Glass Knife might be a good one next. And then unload. Do I want Tools of the Trade or Phantasmal Killer? I think Tools of the Trade because that gives me even more power over trying to find free guards. And that'll be it. Dodge and roll is good. I'll take that. Okay, uh, let's get rid of Terror. Although, actually, no, don't get rid of Doppelganger. Because... Hmm, no gr grand finale. Because <laughs> I'm going to bullet time, so the cost is irrelevant. Um, and Doppelganger... Oh, it's going to cost me all my energy to do this. But, so Doppelganger is also irrelevant. But Who cares? So, in Venom... Unless I want to Nightmare it. I probably want to Nightmare Corpse Explosion, actually, because that's just... A good way of stacking up damage. Um, terror him. Uh, corpse explosion now. Alchemize now. Uh, and then doppelganger won't. It'll get me one more block, so I'm going to take some damage here. Oh, Catalyst is good, right? He's on 16 poison, so that's great. A little bit of damage. Uh, <laughs> Wow, that's quite a hand. Um, I can surely kill him this turn, right? I think I want to play 1,000 cuts. And then... Burst Corpse Explosion. Yeah, it's going to do it. There are times to mass it out, and there are times to just sort of go by feel. And <laughs> this felt like a time to go by feel. It's 49 boys and even without the... thing. Okay. That was cool. Do I want another Envenom? <laughs> I've already got two right here. No, I don't want another Envenom. I don't really want another Burst. I want max HP, probably. There's quite a lot of things I would like to remove now from my deck. Uh, campfire or Elite? Probably Elite. Upgrades are good, but not, not as good as Relics. Okay. I could kill the small guy with that. I can also... Uh, this will just do 13 to everyone, so I might as well just do that. Right up front. Maybe I want to do Envenom first, but then that's all I can do. But Wraithform is free. Um, dash... Okay, if the small guys are dead, I'm only going to take 18 damage, and Dash can protect me from 10 of it. Um, I can burst Dash. I should do that. So that will cost me 2 energy to burst Dash. And so I can afford to spend one, so... And I'll do unload at the last minute. Actually, unload's not that good because the small guys will be dead. So I'm going to burst dash. Uh, if I did unload, I would do it afterwards. Um, this is good because it also... Ah, oh, dash is an attack! It's not a skill, even though it gives you block, it's not a skill, so it didn't play twice, so that's unfortunate. Uh, it's still not worth doing Wraith Form, though, because that limits my whole thing. So I'll just take some damage. I will take another dash, even though it's not a skill. Okay, everything's super expensive. That's, that's unfortunate. But I can turn it all into shivs, which is great. And I guess I just do that, because I don't really see anything else. I could malaise him, actually. He would lose 3 strength and get 3 weak. 
That might be good. Storm of Steel would be just a big chunk of damage. Let me look at what else I've got. I might do Snack a while because my slots are full, so... Oh, that wasn't well thought out. <laughs> um, I'm so torn on whether Arter and Ridge is a good thing at this point. Like, this turn it'll get me more block than it costs me. If If you are going to play any other block, then it's a good thing, obviously. Oh, this is great now. This is going well. Uh, there's no nothing I need to play before but at time. So 1,000 cuts. Um, I'm going to bash in with this. I could actually... Shall I play this and then I'll burst alchemy? That's good. Um, maybe I should have burst malaise. Oh, I did burst malaise. <laughs> Good thinking, Tom. Uh, and then Grand Finale is no use to me, so I'll turn it to ship. That was a good fucking turn. Okay, bullet time again. And I can afford to do this first, which will pay for itself. I can't quite afford to do backflip first. Oh, oh, wild! My artifact protected me from the no card draw restriction, so I can use this backflip for free, which is great. Let me uh, hit this guy with a corpse explosion. Um, I don't know why I'm holding off on the backflip, really. Oh, but the thick cards I draw aren't free, so that's not as good. Should I get Crippling Cloud Nightmare? Oh, I should terror this guy, of course. I don't think it would have affected anything I did this turn, but... Alright, that's a good amount of block, and I've got some bonuses coming to me. And Corpse Explosion will do some good damage. In fact, it will kill him. <laughs> I, I guess Vulnerable affects that. Uh, strength actually sounds pretty good. I don't think I want this fairy in the bottle, because that only, work, only helps me if I die. And I don't want any of those. Yeah, by going for a lot of elites, I am passing up better cards, basically, because non-rare cards are better for me. Um, do I want shop or elite? I guess... Maybe I want shop, because... Nah. Let's do elite again. I know I'm not making that choice right now, but I just like to think ahead to the next one, at least. Uh, wow. A free bullet time. That's nice. I think I'm going to do this. I don't have to be careful about energy, basically. Which is kind of wild. Oh, I should also... Let me get that guy going. Um, yeah, I can afford to backflip. Man, this is super cool. So I Nightmare Crippling Cloud again? Or Corpse Explosion? Oh, I guess I should knight their bullet time. <laughs> I don't need three of them, but just it guarantees I get another bullet time, which is fucking great. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I never thought of that before. Uh, I might as well after image. Um, I cannot actually draw cards. Um, I definitely want a corpse explosion the medic, because I like to kill the medic first, for obvious reasons. And that is going pretty well. Um... Yeah, she's going to die this turn. I'll take a damage card, because I think it's going to be... It's going to be over. <laughs> I was going to say it's going to be close. But. So that upgrade thing is not super great, because the cards don't come around again. The vulnerable is worse, because um, I already have a way of making people vulnerable. So I'll discard that one and take the power potion, because power potion is really good. Ooh, man, I like Piercing Whale. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Choke is great for me, because I play a lot of cards, and the cost doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm still going to go for Elites. Maybe later in the run I'll, I'll err on the side of Shops, depending on how much money I have at that point. Not seeing a way of making these cards free, which is a shame. <laughs> um, but I can Malaise. Malaise would be pretty strong here. I can malaise then Storm of Steel, couldn't I? I can malaise Phantasmal Killer then Storm of Steel. 
Yes, that's best, I think. And I don't want to gain any block because I will get six block for free. That was a very inefficient use of um, pen nib, but... <laughs> Finish is pretty good. Dodge and roll is more reliably good, but um, I like the idea of having a real killer turn. I didn't get any bullet times then, so I'm likely to get one soon. I mean, I can just check, but <laughs> it's just exhausting to look through that every single time. Uh, equipping Cloud sounds good. Backflip sounds good. I can actually do both those things, so I think I will. Oh, and that gives me a bullet time. Perfect. And I'll do that right now. So finish is going to be great now. Uh, I will crippling cloud, I will lay plans. Uh, I don't want to unload yet. This one's safe to do. Uh, this discards non-attack cards, so I can play that before finisher, which is great. This is going to kill him. No, it's not. <laughs> it's going to come very close. And then I can simply dash him. The only reason not to is uh, see if I can get Alchemize going, but I guess I don't really care. Book of Stabbing is the best boss concept I can think of. <laughs> That's so fucking good. It's just a book about stabbing and it stabs you with a giant arm. God bless this game. Uh, no, I don't want to smoke bomb, do I? Another bullet time? Should I take it? They're real fucking good. They only take up hand space, and I have good dr hand draw. Yeah, I'm going to take it. It's kind of crazy, but... The times when you get... Um, the times when you get two in your hand, even then it's not a huge disadvantage, and that massively outweighs just having it more turns, especially first turn. If I get it first turn, that's so good. I think I want to spend some money on removal. Usually... The mirror is great. Actually, mirror on adrenaline? No, adrenaline's terrible. What am I talking about? What's my best card? I mean, it kind of is bullet time, but I've got enough of those now. Uh, actually, choke is great. <laughs> Take a clone, an upgraded choke. That's real good. Crippling Cloud maybe is even better because it's... If that was upgraded, that would be a much easier call. Removing Wraith Form would be good because I don't play that even if it's free. It's just a... It's got such a bad downside. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm pressing the map button each time to get out of this, because I think I pressed it to get in. It's always scary, because I feel like I've left the event. Uh, I could take Catalyst, I suppose. It's just it's a one-cost card. Um, so I could get Mountain Flask and remove a card. I think I'm going to remove... All the dexterity stone is pretty good. I'm not really using dexterity, but maybe I should be. <laughs> and actually, finesse is good. Huh. Well, if I could get finesse and dexterity stone, I would, but I can't, so that's irrelevant. I think I'm going to remove... Oh, I should no, I should remove um, the truly useless card, uh, which is grand finale. Absolute waste of space. And then it's just a case of whether do I want Catalyst or Bouncing Flask, or neither. I'm going to take Bouncing Flask, because that applies that applies one more each time, so it benefits three times from my Sneko Skull. Um, and, oh, this is going to be fucking great. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. I can choke, and I can bullet time, and oh my god, I think everything is going to die this turn. <laughs> uh... Okay, um, uh, yes, so I should bullet time first, right? Oh, I might as well 1,000 cuts first, because I get one more. Oh no, I should choke first, then 1,000 cuts, then bullet time. And I'll just hit the toughest one. Uh, in Venom doesn't matter whether, when I play that. And I might... That's 13 damage to all enemies, so Nightmare on that is great. Yep, he's dead. And then we'll do this. 
I don't think I'm going to alchemize unless I just wanted to scrap a car, scrap a potion. Yeah, maybe I'll get rid of this one. That was good, actually. Alright, this will be over next turn, I think. <laughs> uh, no, don't care about any of that. Gambler's Brew. That's actually really good. Gambler's Brew is really good for me. Probably better than the Strength. I'll take another Dash. And I'll take another Choke. Both good cards for me. Now, I was really excited about one particular upgrade. What was it? Choke? Bouncing Flask. Because that happens four times, which means it benefits. So ultimately that would be four poison four times, which is 16 poison, which is pretty good considering it may be free to play. <laughs> um, sorry, I keep doing that. Let me just... Up upgrading Choke would be good. I already have one upgraded Choke. What is the upgrade for this? Or just more poison, doesn't do any more weak, which is a shame. Uh, upgrading Reform actually makes it a lot more useful. Malaise would also be good. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a poison one, actually. I'm going to do maybe malaise or maybe adrenaline to get that energy economy going. Being able to... I'm going to do malaise. Because if you burst malaise, even if I have zero energy, that becomes significant. I think I'll use my power potion right away. Oh, wait, do I even... This is adding to your hand. I don't have room in my hand. I think I, I, think I might actually fail if I did it. <laughs> Um, okay, I've got a bit of time. I've got a burst. What am I going to burst? I could burst Terror because I need to eat through his artifacts to be able to do anything like that. I think I'm going to do that. I have two bursts. That doesn't help me um, at all because... Oh, I tell you what, it's good for Phantasmal Killer. Um, Should I burst again? I don't know. It doesn't matter because I don't have enough skills to take advantage of it. But it's kind of funny. All of these are worth more than a shiv, so there's no point in playing Storm of Steel on any of them. Uh, and now I could take a power as well. I think I like Tools of the Trade. Yeah. Blur, yes please. Ooh, it's a choke. Um, don't want Wraith Form. Uh, damn. I guess, hmm. I think I would choke. I have got Gambling thingy. Um, well, let's see. Okay, if I backflip, I get a bullet time, but I won't have enough energy to use it. Um, so what I should actually do is Gambler's Brew. And I'll get rid of that useless thing. And maybe... Oh, the escape plan's a bad one too. And that should draw me a bullet time. It does. And I can play this first. The only reason not to... No, I will. Uh, okay, and now I play this. And then my next priority will be this. I could go for the big guy, but he will resist it, so I won't. Um, I want to go for this person, actually, because they're going to steal a card from me. No, I'm going to go for this person because it protects me to do so. Uh, the trade, sure. And this... I could weaken this person. Uh, I'm doing alright for block. I will take some damage, but... I mean, I'd love to weaken him, but he will... Oh, you know what? I think that's two different debuffs. So I think one of them will use up his last resistance, and the other one will actually affect him. Yeah, it did. Got him with one week, which is not great, but I'd rather the strength hit him, but um, I'll take what I can get. Did I already terror him? Yes, I did. So my terror is gone, so I might as well take a new one, because that's actually a really good card. I took no damage. Look at that. I took Corpse Explosion. Corpse Explosion is quite good currently. I've got a bullet time here, so that's real nice. So probably Doppelganger is the one I don't want. Oh, I have to choose another one? Shit. 
Nightmare. Oh no, Nightmare can get me bullet time back, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of these only hits one target, doesn't it? So that might be the one to get rid of. I want to keep Alchemize. Um, yeah. Yeah. Unload has a downside, and it doesn't hit everyone. Oh, I can't Nightmare bullet time, because I would have spent bullet time by the time in order to afford Nightmare. I might... Maybe I'll Nightmare Choke. If I don't Nightmare Choke, I can play Choke first, and I could do Crippling Cloud. I'm going to Nightmare Choke, though. The choke is an extremely good card right now. And I think I'm even going to not... I think I'm going to spend it on the big guy. Um, and then do all kinds of stuff. Look at that. Four poison per hit. Uh, we'll certainly do this. It's a shame I can't burst it, but I can't. And that will hit everyone. And that will kill one of them. That will give me a card back, actually, but it's no use because I can't afford it. Uh, sure, I'll take another bit of time. <laughs> uh, and I can retain Corpse Explosion. Cool. Okay. Uh, I took another bullet time, but I didn't get given it this turn, uh, which is a shame. But it certainly means I can't use all these chokes. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Do I want to after image? Yes, I think I'm going to end up storm, storm of stealing, and that will work out well for me, I think. What does eviscerate do? Oh, he damaged three times. Great. Actually, Piercing Whale is better for me, isn't it, than Storm of Steel. Yeah, I just want to avoid the damage. Uh, I'll take Backflip, and I'll keep the Choke, I think? Yeah, if I get another bullet time, which I will eventually, that would be real nice. I got it! I uh, don't need that, and maybe I will do Acrobatics. What's Heal Hook? Oh, that's nothing. I'll concentrate. Oh shit, I don't want to concentrate at all. I mean, that said, I don't need this and I don't need that. So I need two energy spare for bullet time. I think I am going to draw the cards and discard some. Um, that free back backflip is great because that lets me draw some stuff. Uh, I'll do this. Still keeping that two energy in reserve. And now I'll bullet time, my reasoning being I want to get choke in play as early as possible. And then I'll burst leg sweep. That will give you a shitload of weak to deal with. I'll also burst blur so I get to carry across all this block I've built up. Oh, I thought I had two bursts. I guess I didn't. I need to upgrade that other burst at some point. Oh, I should have, I should have made him vulnerable first, obviously. But I think he's going to die anyway. <laughs> I don't think he lives. Oh, that's cool. If you... Um, well, no, actually it doesn't really matter. But Concentrate gives you the bonus even if you can't discard the cards it wants you to. Uh, I think it... Oh no, Adrenaline's bad. Adrenaline's bad. Do I take another bullet time? Would that be three? I already have three, so it'd be four. I don't think I do take it. I think I just take the max HP. I'm at that stage now where... This deck is kind of a finely tuned machine, and I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay, things that generally... Well, Wraith Form I'm never taking. Um, After Image is a real mixed bag. Um, Nightmare's sort of alright. I don't use it very much. Um, to be honest, Doppelganger seems like a weak link. I'm very rarely getting anything out of that, am I? Okay, it's going to be the Awakened. That's not too bad. I'd be a lot more worried about Timekeeper. I'm not going to think too hard about this choice. Okay. Did I get a bullet time? No. Will I get one if I backflip? No. Not with the energy I have. So this... Uh, actually, I might even do after image first, because I think I'm going to... No, I'm not going to be able to play more than three cards, am I? So after image is a bad idea. Corpse Explosion is great here. 
It's the best. So I could terror him? Well, I should get some defense, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, should I? Should I? Um, it's I'm going to get 6 block for free. If I use back breath, I get 8 block and I can't do anything else. So that's not that great, is it? I think I'm going to do this. Uh, it's just a question of what else. I guess Phantasm will kill her. And then next turn I can kill that guy. So I'm going to take some damage, but it will be over soon. Um, yes, I will choke that guy, and that's it. <laughs> that's all there is. Strength potion versus skill potion. I might keep the skill, because that's a, another free card player, which is nice. Dodge and roll is good, even with my Sneko. Um, 7 damage 3 times. Seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure, I'll gain 100 gold. And I'm heading towards the shop. This is pretty good. Thousand cuts first. Uh, probably straight into bullet time. I don't see any other reason. Nothing draws cards here. Oh, adrenaline does. Uh, it's going to pay for itself. I can afford to do dodge and roll first, just to clear out some hand space. And then backflip is free, which is very nice. I can't clear up any more hand space. I didn't need to. Um, and now, oops, sorry, that's the wrong card. Bullet time. Now, Corpse Explosion on, I think, this one. Oh, and Choke on this one. I Actually, I can afford to hit this one. I'm going to do that. Get rid of that. I obviously should have done Envenom sooner. I should have done this Choke sooner as well. Um, but this is, everyone's going to die. Everyone's going to die. Okay, I won't take another Piercing Whale because it's, um, the maths doesn't work out. Upgrade a Catalyst, I think, is worth taking. Well, let's see how Eviscerate pans out in practice. This guy's going to do something nasty to me. Um, I don't see a reason... Oh, actually, yeah, I can... It's actually worth playing escape plan first, weirdly. A three cost escape plan is not usually a good idea, but in this one case it is. So, shall I burst alchemize if I throw this at him? And yeah, I'll just do it, because that's quite a good one. Uh, actually, probably should have taken Nightmare there. So now I'm going to burst alchemize and dodge and roll, because I want that next turn. Um, it's a shame I got all these bullet times. I really would have been smart to take Nightmare there. Ooh, that's good. Good timing. 14 damage three times. Yes, please. Uh, don't want to discard anything yet. Uh, I guess I'll do this. Why am I doing this? Not really clear. <laughs> I thought I was getting some kind of benefit from playing cards, but I don't. Escape plan's bad with my with Sneko Eye. Oh, I should remove Escape Plan from my deck. Do I have Escape Plan on my deck? Yeah, I think I do. That's probably a bad card for me to have. Adrenaline is, is energy neutral at the moment. So i got to bear in mind I'm going to take 10 more damage than I think I am. Unless I can kill him, which would be nice. But I don't think that's on the cards, really, is it? In fact, it's all looking a bit grim. Um, I might even play a potion and get... I don't have a lot of buffs going on. I've actually got one strength, interestingly. So, Shiv's kinda good. I don't have Venom going, though. Um, block might be better. Just a question of whether I can actually take him out this turn. I think I can't, even with the Shiv's. Shiv's would be 5 times 3, 15 damage. Uh, he is vulnerable. So it might be more. And he's choked. So I actually want Blade Dance. I forgot he was choked. 
Uh, yeah, let's do this up front. I think this... Is it viable to kill him this turn? It seems ambitious. 13 left. I could do 6 with this. And 4 with that. Actually, this is going to be 7, and this will be 5. Hey, that adds up to 13. Doesn't it? No, it adds up to 12. <laughs> Damn it. Um... I, maybe I should have played in Venom. Yeah, I definitely should have played in Venom before that. Oh, I've got the... I could just use the potion, shouldn't I? Let me play this out, and if it doesn't add up to what I hope, then... Oh, it does. Okay. I'm not sure where I went wrong with the mass there, but... Oh, because choke, choke, choke. That's what's doing it. Uh... Oh, that thing hits before I hit him. That sucks. So I actually took damage there, I think. Ooh, blur. Yeah, blur's good. And none of those are, really. Uh, shall I take the shot and then go left? To be honest, it seems like I'd be better off. Well, I've got a good amount of gold, actually, so... The question mark could get me more gold, but I think I'll just take this one and be very picky. And look mostly at relics. That's nice. And so is backflip. Um, that's all of my money for that, though. And I'm not playing... I sometimes do shivs, but that's the only time I'm playing a lot of attacks. So maybe it's not so good. I don't think there's anything more I want to remove now. A mayhem's kind of fun. Should we do mayhem? Yeah, mayhem's fun. And our smith... What does mayhem upgraded do? Just cheaper. Yeah, there's no point doing that. Upgraded blow would be good. Uh, what was I saying? I want to upgrade the other burst. Yeah, I do. I also want to upgrade black Philip actually. What does upgraded sorry do? Nine damage three times. I mean that's good, uh, but just straight damage is not really super interesting to me. I think it's down to blur or burst. I might do blur. Maybe I should be doing dash, actually. Because that, when you upgrade that, it upgrades both the attack and the defense of it. <laughs> Suddenly it has music, which is weird. Uh, is that good? No, it's not really. I'm usually drawing as many cards as I can already. Backflip's not bad. Maybe I should take backflip. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm getting music at the start of each encounter, even though I have music off. Which is slightly weird. If I do one burst and then no adrenaline, I think I get to draw... I'll end up drawing two cards and and having the same energy I have now, right now, which is actually worth it. Uh, not going great so far. <laughs> I'm struggling to see how I'm going to protect myself here. Backflip, I guess? Yeah, that gives me at least a chance of getting something else. Well, let's see what we'll get. Oh, will give me another backflip. But will I be able to play it? I don't know. No, I can't. Fuck. God damn it. Shall I stab him? Oh, what's, um, top three cards in my draw pile? That's dash, piercing whale, and dodge and roll. That's fantastic. Let's do that. Not chaotic at all. Okay, then that leaves me free to either stab him or boost my damage next turn. My damage next turn will be dash, eviscerate. Yeah, that could be good. Wait, is it? Do I have a bit of time coming up? No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to do it. Oh, shit, no. Uh, there's a really big reason I shouldn't have done that, which is he will be intangible next turn. Okay, I did protect myself though, and I've got some... Oh my god, he's doing 45 damage. That's not good. Shall I sap him like this? And then I can dash to get some more block and poison him. Uh, I should poison him first if I'm going to do that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's free. Oh, and then Eviscerate will, will poison him too, which is great. Man, it's a really good roll on the energy costs. I'm just wondering whether to terror him. 
Uh, won't help me this turn. I think no, Terra is, is half as effective against this guy, basically. So I will point on Flask. And then I will Malaise. Guess I'm down to 30, still a fuck of a lot of damage. I guess I'll see what the skill is. Expertise that draws cards. That's kind of good, actually. I will do that. Nope. Total waste. Okay, I'm going to take 14 damage. That's not great. I mean, poison is half as effective as well, now come to think of it. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do this. Didn't really help. Uh, I should do bullet time next, because actually I should have saved my energy for malaise. Nice and low health. Oh, I shouldn't have taken adrenaline, that was too good. Oh, I get to retain the bullet time, that's good. I keep forgetting about that. Both my chokes, and I've got bullet time, so that's actually really nice. I will... Oh, he's intangible, this... Actually, no, uh, I don't care. Choke will hurt him anyway. So, I will... Do this first. And this... I guess no reason not to do that. Oh, shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to do choke first. And in fact, the very next thing I should have played would have been choke as well. God, I don't have any defense against this. I'm just gonna get hurt. I'll keep my bullet time though. Oof. This one is tough. Hey, what? Oh no! It played the thing that discards all my non-attacks. That was a bad thing. Uh, and one of my remaining ones only does damage if I have skills in my head. <laughs> hmm, Mayhem is actually a bit chaotic, it turns out. Uh, yes, I'll do that. Okay, that kills him. He's not intangible this turn, right? Alright. It's over. It was pretty rough. No, just don't do anything. Hmm. Another bullet time? I'm going to get another bullet time. I don't have... There were too too many turns when I don't have bullet time in my hand. And so I'm going to solve the problem by getting more bullet times. That's my reasoning, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, I got three bullet times in the same hand. Uh, I can afford to hit one of these guys first before I do adrenaline to make up, make some hand space. I will certainly terror you. Um, can't afford to do backflip first. I will do that. And I don't have retain, do I? So it's going to be a case of... I get to keep all this nice block, that's good. So it's actually worth doing Piercing Whale as well, because um, that will be good. And I think I'm going to Nightmare Bullet Time. And then I don't. I can play these. It doesn't make any difference. Ah uh, no. It's actually good that that guy survived that turn because I can use his corpse explosion now, and it'll kill more minions that way. I will keep doing mayhem. There's only one way it goes bad, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so I should do this first. Actually, fifty-six damage. Holy shit. Does she have any poison on her? No. Uh, I do actually need to... Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. I guess I do this. Yeah, that kills all the minions. I've got enough block versus her. That's going to discard Catalyst, which I guess... Wait, do I... Oh yeah, I want to play all these cards. There it is. And I gained... Oh wow, that was it. Um, ooh, Gremlin Horn's fantastic. It's one of the best cards. <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. I got loads of card draw. Oh, that's my last one though. And this is going to be a tough fight, so... Oh, it can be a tough fight. I might use the power potion. I actually don't need it yet, because I 
we can see how this goes. Um, I am inclined to do after image and then backflip because I don't need to preserve any energy because bullet time is free. Um, so do that as well. And then the question is what do I nightmare? Um, while I am thinking I will do this uh, I think I can just straight do that. Well, let me think. I, leaning towards Envenom. Oh no, Blur. Blur is the best. Absolutely. Three Blurs is going to be fantastic. Why didn't I do Envenom first? I don't know. Uh, I think I'll take all of these as powers. Oh, I had Retain. I should have kept that. Um, don't think I want any of those because they're all low cost. So I get to keep my energy and I can have... Uh, I've got a bit of time, so we're all good. We're all good. Probably Catalyst is what I don't need here. Yeah, so bullet time right up front. Then choke, I think. Then thousand cuts. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to get so much fucking block, it's insane. <laughs> All right, that ought to finish it, I think. <laughs> I mean, basically invulnerable for five turns, and uh, I, obviously that was not a good choice, but it didn't matter. Oh wait, didn't he? Oh shit, I thought he had corpse explosion on him. Didn't he have corpse explosion on him? Did I just imagine that? Oh well, it's still I'm still extremely well protected, and I don't know. Oh, I do have a time here. Great. Let's do that. That'll do it. Hmm. That's alright. It's not the greatest thing. Ooh, a great equipping cloud, definitely. And I was looking into upgrading. Oh, eviscerate's pretty cool. Um. Bouncing flask, maybe choke, maybe burst. Burst is is going to serve me well, isn't it? Apart from everything, it's just a pain in the ass to sort of remind myself that one of my bursts doesn't do what the other one does. Uh, okay, yeah, we're definitely man, we're in a good spot here. I I should burst the escape plan, I think, to get two cards. And I've even got a free backflip. I will use this. So the, the logic here is that I'm trying to um, make room in my hand for the cards I'm going to draw. Oh, I should have, uh, yeah, I fucked up slightly. I should have saved the burst for the blur, if possible. Um, we'll definitely do this. We'll definitely do that. And then I can also triple it. This is a very nice start. Then we'll dash him. Blur will help us save all that block. Phantasmal Killer will help next time. And now Pen Nib is ready to go, and I think I just gained some strength from that too. Uh, I do have bullet time. Great. Let's. I think we'll just do it. And what am I going to use Nightmare on? Maybe. Oh, this is going to be a good turn for... He's going to be vulnerable. And I'm going to hit him with a double damage eviscerate, which is fantastic. Maybe I'll even keep an eviscerate for next turn. Um, I can also... I don't think it sort of helps me... That's probably my least interesting one. Sure, I'll take that. And then Alchemize fills the gap. And let's do this while I, before I forget and screw it up. God, that's powerful. <laughs> and I think I get to retain this, don't I? Let's take that. Not that it matters at this point. 
These eviscerates are zero cost. I wonder if that's because they were last turn too. Regen, I do want. Um, Gambler's Brew is really good. Maybe Distill Chaos is the least. No, Distill Chaos is good because I can actually actually know what it's going to play. Yeah, I might take another Bouncing Flask. And another Catalyst. No, I'm going to... I mean, I probably should, but I'm just starting to feel like I've been too indulgent in, in splashing out on everything. Do I have a bit of time? I do, and I will play it first, I think. Uh, and then do thousand cuts next. Uh, is there any use to me at all here? Oh, I should play. Re I should do regen now, and then I can replace it with alchemize. Uh, and I'll do that. To save it. Wow, that was good. That was a good turn. Don't really want. Any of those. This is a good fight to heal on because it's not not very high damage and uh, you have a lot of time to chew through his health bar. Uh, yes, I'll do this. I think I'll just play that. Um, he's got 20, so tripling that is good. I think that's the only thing that, that makes sense. Uh, do I have retain yet? I don't have retain, so I might as well storm of steel. Oh no, it happened again. <laughs> I should just get rid of that card. That's what I should do. I should keep the mayhem, but I should get rid of the one that discards all my fucking cards because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, I probably want dash here, don't I? Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll take a corpse explosion. Okay, well I didn't actually want it to end this fast, but it has. <laughs> uh... Yep, nothing doing really. Didn't get full use of that regen, but it's still probably a good time to do it. I will take that. Uh, in some ways, maybe that's even better. Oh, Intangible is great. Uh, I think Gambler's Room might be better than drawing three cards, because I usually don't have room to draw three cards. Uh, I don't think I want the, any of these. I'm not going to get a chance to remove any cards. That's a shame. So maybe I shouldn't play Mayhem when I get the chance. Should I play Choke? Or Bouncing Flask? Or Adrenaline? I'll do Adrenaline because that's... Then there's more times when it's worth playing. Okay, so... Uh, I want the best first hand I can get. I think I'll keep Mayhem, you know. Oh, you know what? Even if I got rid of that discard card, it would still be a problem because, you know, I get cards added to my deck all the time. I don't want to use the potion yet. Um, I will... I think I'll, I'll do what I can without... Um, without burning my potion, and then once I have done all I can, I will burn the potion. <laughs> I don't know why that was difficult to say. Um, adrenaline? Sure. That will get me... I'll have two spare spaces by the time I've played it, and it will get me both of them, and it certainly works out well energy-wise. Uh, after image, yes, and I'll play it now, I think. I also got Blur, and I don't think there's any... Oh no, I want to play Backflip first, actually. Because Bullet Time is free. Okay, perfect. A thousand cuts, and then I definitely want to burst Blur, and I probably want to burst Corpse Explosion. I definitely want to burst Corpse Explosion, that's great. I'll even do that first. We'll go with this guy, because I think that does his damage twice to everybody. So this is great on block. Cool the trade. Mayhem is good. Um, 
Let's see if that kills him. Did kill him. Oh my god, that was devastating. <laughs> so my gremlin horn would have let me draw cards there, except for the fact that I'd bullet timed already. Uh, do I want another one of those? No, not really. I would love to have a shitload of energy right now. So, he's going to do a load of damage to me. Um, I guess I want burst, don't I? Oh, he choked. Great. That's great. Uh, do I have a burst coming up? Not soon. Um, I think I should do the power now. That seems fine. I'll bounce him, flask him. Oh, I should definitely invent him as soon as possible. Everything's zero cost. This is great. Oh, and I got bullet time. <laughs> I almost don't need it. In fact, it might even make more sense to play malaise by itself, because bullet time costs me one, so malaise will do less. Um, let's do that, and then Storm of Steel can let me actually get some hits in. Although, maybe it would have been smart to retain something there. I'll take Eviscerate. Yeah, this is going very well. I won't take a 3 cost Alchemize at this point. Although I've got bullet time. Um, uh, actually, yeah, Unload is the worst one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Uh, except Alchemize, actually. Nightmare and Alchemize matter. So I might... Nightmare a choke. Don't want a Nightmare a catalyst because he's not going to have any poison when he respawns. Um, yeah, I don't even need the bullet time really, do I? Oh, I can. Yes, I do because I can burst Nightmare. So one of them will be a choke. And the other one might be like a dodge and roll, maybe? Or a bouncing flask. But it's not the upgraded version. I think I'll do dodge and roll, because I think this guy comes back with a fairly strong hit. Um, oh, that's not doing anything, of course. Uh, I will alchemize, yes. Of course. Maybe if it works worth it. Oh, I can retain choke as well. Okay. Maybe I should be retaining catalyst every turn. Look at the number of buffs I have going on. Oh, I don't anymore. Well, I did. Well, all those chokes are three costs, but it doesn't matter because I've got a bullet time. So Piercing Whale is actually the least useful. Ooh, this is going to be good. This is going to be really fucking good. <laughs> Just chokes on chokes on chokes. It's taking 20 damage every time we do anything at this point. And with the weak, that ought to make it so I don't take any damage. Beautiful. Um... I'll take a blur. Don't really want that. Oh, that's... I don't have to select two. Actually, mm hmm... Uh, yeah, I want block, not, not damage. Choose a card to copy. I guess I got a free nightmare. Um, this is for next turn, I, I believe. So... Uh, Bouncing Flask, I guess. So I'm actually alright for block already. This is going to do... I think I just bullet time right away. Um, that ought to be it. It is. I'll play my last card just for completion. That was quite a fun one. There were definitely some turns in that run that were just, like, incredible. <laughs> and a thousand, that's a pretty respectable score. Taking a lot of elites gets you more score, so that's nice, because that, I would have done that anyway. Let me see where that puts me on the leaderboard. How do you even find the leaderboard? Do you have to go to the daily climb? Yeah. Uh, oh, I guess it just ticked over, but maybe I can find myself on yesterday's oh, <laughs> 1,822 uh, yeah I think it was a fairly easy one uh, but a fun one